There are many animation channels out there, some that requires hundreds of hours of hard work and dedication behind them. Without it, you can't go anywhere in the animation industry. You have the Vizzy Pop, Pymations, Hot Diggity Demon, Cartoon Management, and many others who deliver brilliant, talented artworks for many to enjoy. These are just some of who taken their hobbies to the next level in animation. Although it is not always rewarding, it comes with a cost of your time, effort, and worst of all, money. Money has been the issue of making videos. Hell, even I have to pay my editors a large sum of money to create the video that you guys are watching right now. Either you are a YouTuber who is destined to get a large amount of subscribers to follow you and support you, you will always make enough to produce a better content. Unfortunately, that does not work for those who have gotten a large fan base, but do not have a large sum of money to back it up. The animating, the voice acting, it all comes down when you're watching a cartoon episode from a certain YouTuber. No matter what it seems to be, YouTube animators can never catch a break when it comes to finding a budget to create a new video. And it has to be restricted due to the fact that it could be too adult themed or that the fact that it's not good for children to watch but however that can't be the case some animators are actually destined to become bigger than what they are right now and if not they are going to reach that goal at some point in their lifetime and hopefully as a supporter myself they could actually get to that goal and achieve it but we're not going to be talking about that today. I mean, we'll get to that in uh, another video. But right now, I wanted to talk about a YouTuber who has been gone for quite some time. It's actually been two years since his disappearance. And yet, we have no clue of finding out if he ever is going to come back. A man who has been known for stealing 8-bit art style animation from Dorkly. We are talking no about none other than Gumbino, an ambitious YouTuber who has been inspired by Ed Gould himself from Ed's World. Uh, may he rest in peace. His projects have been known for being successful for quite some time. In fact, they have been on a few reaction channels on YouTube. You can say that Gumbino has been doing well for himself for a good percentage of his time being on YouTube. Before the hiatus of him leaving YouTube for almost two years, we haven't heard a peep. Although his 8-bit animation style is quite similar to Dorkly and has been critically received because of that. His animation style of how the characters talk are kind of similar to the Canadians from South Park. He made parodies of Pokemon similar to Dorkly. He made some other smaller projects such as Sonic and Mario, Dragon Ball Z's, but those are just skits. He made a series called What Really Happens in Pokemon and the Video Game Competition, which was a new series that he made all on his own leading to this hiatus that got many people confused on really what happened to Gabino. As I previously mentioned before, he's been gone for almost two years. Why did Gabino suddenly disappear after all these years? Was it accusations of him stealing 8-bit animations from previous YouTubers such as Dorkly? Or did he quit altogether, leaving his fans behind and starting a new chapter in his life? I'll answer these two questions and come up with a theory by the end of this video, so stay tuned. Subscribe and don't forget to like the video. Your support can help this channel a lot and if it does well, I can pay my editors to make awesome content just like this one that you're watching right now. Our story begins with a young ambitious animator named Olivier Paul, also known as Gambino, who was born and raised in Texas. He was known for having an amazing passion for animation. He started animation ever since 2009. It's all he ever wanted to do, using only Adobe Flash 8 to do his animations, which is known as an old program, but he knows how to work the system. He also used Gary's Mod to make SFM skits, such as Sonic Animation and If Sanic Was the Little Red Riding Hood, which is a kind of creepy meme to me, but anyways. It wasn't until he got positive feedback on his console cartoon series that put him on the map, gaining fans that would support him and his work. He made a bunch of random animation videos and had plans to create an animation series called Purgatory Island. And if I had to guess, it was inspired by the Cartoon Network animation series, Billy and Mandy. It wasn't until January 18th, 2017, 
Where Gabino made his first Pokemon parody, Ash finds out that there are more than 151 Pokemon that got him millions of views and over 60,000 likes to this day. That really took his career to the next level. Knowing how relatable the subject was about Pokemon was in this video was really entertaining to watch. From there, Gambino kept making consistent uploads from time to time, keeping his fan base happy and making a promising career out of it. He also has a second channel called Gambino Blue, where he posts a bunch of Calamity videos and What If videos about NES characters. Different from his original channel because in this one, there are no voice actors, just a ton of action. He also partnered up with another 8-bit animator called Level Up, who he made many crossover videos with in the past. Gabino was also known for making two series called What Really Happens in Pokemon and Video Game Competition. What Really Happens in Pokemon is a series based off of the already Pokemon anime series that is parodied as if it was some type of cartoon adult show like Family Guy. Even the voice actor who does Pikachu in the series sounds a lot like Peter Griffin and does a great impersonation of that character. Video Game Competition is a series based on Big Brother or Total Drama Island where it has a similar plot but using NES characters having them face multiple challenges where fans can interact with past videos by answering Twitter polls choosing which character gets eliminated by the end of each episode that's on Gumbino YT Twitter. Gumbino has mentioned previously that the new YouTube algorithm was going to be a challenge for him posting content on his channel. He wanted to create a television series ever since he was three. But due to the fact that television was dying and the television networks don't really look into independent animators such as Gambino, it wasn't a possibility. And in fact, streaming platforms were taking over. Many fans were curious if he was ever going to launch his new series called Purgatory Island, as previously mentioned in this video, but he needed writers for the show and voice actors. He made a Twitter profile associated with his YouTube channel in June 2016, where his fans could keep an update of what project he has done and when they're going to be finished here on YouTube. He has posted many small trailers about his recent accomplishments in gaining subscribers, each one talking about his past projects and small updates on what he wanted to do with his channel moving forward. It was on June 16th, 2017, where he mentioned in his quick update video where he would be making more videos, picking up past projects and working on them, such as Purgatory Island. And at the time of recording this video, it is the fourth anniversary of the channel, so big credits to him and his success. It has been previously mentioned by Gabino himself that he was heavily inspired by Ed Gould, creator of Ed's World, an English animator who tragically passed away from losing his battle with cancer. I am also a huge fan of Ed's World, so me and this guy and the viewers who are fans of his work pretty much have a lot in common when it comes to animation. And of course, with a lot of success, his animation style was claimed to be taken from Dorkly. Of course, these would be the accusations. There were a bunch of questionable ones, of course, from fans and generally curious people who asked Gambino why is he copying from Dorkly? And he responded to those accusations in his previous video, do I copy Dorkly, saying that it was pretty stupid. And personally, I can agree. He stated that Dorkly does not own Pokemon animations and that anyone could do Pokemon animation. Even the Dorkly channel itself has posted a comment saying that they approve of him and his hard work. I personally take this as a source of inspiration that anyone who wants to do animation about a certain series in pop culture can do whatever they want with it as long as it makes them happy. So big ups to you Gambino, you are a true role model. It was on December 1st, 2018, the first day of Christmas, when Gambino uploaded his most recent video, a fourth installment to the video game competition series. It was from there fans stopped receiving videos from him, and many came to question his disappearance. It's been nearly two years since Gambino's disappearance, and fans are demanding answers about his whereabouts. There have been many theories circulating around Gambino's disappearance. Some people had claimed that he tragically passed away, but that theory was later debunked given the fact that Gambino had made a recent comment seven months ago on a music video, Krabby Step, a song made for a Spongebob movie, Sponge on the Run. 
made by Sway Lee, Taiga, and Lil Mosey. It can be possible that Gabino's channel could have been hacked, but that's hard to believe since there were no claims, there were no alternative channels basically mentioning about Gabino being hacked. In fact, it seems that he's well in a lot. Concerning fans who are also Redditors have posted questions about Gabino's disappearance and the most common and believable answer is is that he's just not active and is not posting any animation videos. There could be another theory that due to YouTube's new algorithm that Gabino has quitted YouTube altogether. But however, he didn't make a public statement in regards to being restricted from being able to post content, so that theory is also debunked. However, since his most recent community post on his channel where he stated that he would get back to work on his two series, What Really Happens in Pokemon and Video Game Competition, and on January 9th on Twitter, he displayed a teaser about what really happens in Pokemon and that he aims to bring it back into production. But ever since these posts, Gabino's channel and his Twitter account was in complete silence and left dormant for quite some time. So all of these theories and no possible answer comes to only one conclusion, that Gabino just became inactive. It is uncertain if Gabino will ever come back here on YouTube but we will have to stay tuned and find out for ourselves. But it looks promising given the fact that there can be a logical reasoning for Gambino's absence. My personal theory is that it could have been the pandemic issue that has been going on for quite some time. The pandemic was prolonged ever since late 2019 and Gambino probably had plans for his channel, but it had never came into fruition. It could be the fact that him and his voice actors might have caught the virus or that they were not available to record episodes. And also the fact that Texas, where Gambino claimed he was from, fell victim to a power outage that happened during the winter of 2020 that could have delayed his production time and his ambition to finish animating altogether. But whatever it may be, Gambino does not show any signs of quitting. I think personally that he will come back on YouTube to post more videos. Why? Because there are a lot of YouTube animators who weren't able to make uploads due to the pandemic. For example, Vivizipop with Has Been Hotel. She was able to create uploads for hell of a boss episodes however but during the pandemic she was still active in the youtube twitter community but due to the pandemic issue she didn't have a lot of work to get done on has been hotel but however the show was picked up by a24 and that the show will be debuted somewhere around late october 2021 or in early 2022 so fingers crossed i personally hope that the show comes in very soon we have cartoon management that was in a huge hiatus due to the fact that Lionel, the creator of Jay's Life and Barry's Tales, had issues with being consistent with uploads because of the YouTube algorithm and that he has a daughter to look after during the pandemic. I could also see that maybe his voice actors were probably unavailable at that time. It's all understandable from a certain point of view, and it can be hard for fans to accept that concept. So with these examples that I propose to you, the viewer, it can be those possible reasons why YouTube animators are not so active. So yeah, again, YouTube animators are amazing people with such great talent, and it would be a shame if we can't see another video from them ever again. But however, there is a possibility that Gambino can come back soon and let his fans know that he was always here. And it's possible that he had some issues when it came to being consistent with uploads. So that wraps up today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If I left out any important information, please let me know in the comment section below. And I want to know from you guys, do you think Gambino will ever come back on YouTube? If so, I would love to hear your opinion. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I post videos weekly, I make animation reviews. So if that's something that you're interested in, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, and smacking the like button would be very appreciative. And again, I will come back with another video as always. And I wanted to say to you guys, the people who watched my previous videos, thank you for supporting my channel and hitting that thumbs up. You guys are amazing and again, you're just wonderful people. Thank you. So until then, I'll see you all next time.